Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to take a look at a BJC Health Science exam past paper question. This is taken from the 2016 exam and it is questions number 20 and 21. It reads, the bar graph shows how long a meal spends in each part of the digestive system. Use this graph to answer questions. When you have a bar graph question, the first thing you'd want to do is to study the graph and gather in as much information as you can about it. So we'll take a look at the titles of the y-axis and the x-axis. On the y-axis, the title is time, and the time is given in hours, and labeled on the x-axis are the organs of the digestive tract. And we've been told that this is a graph telling the time that a meal spends in different parts of the digestive system including the mouth and esophagus, the stomach, the small intestine, and the large intestine. As you look at the bars, you'll also notice that the height of the bars are increasing as we move from left to right. And as the height increases, it corresponds to an increase in the time. So we already know, just by looking at the graph, that the meal spends the most time in the large intestine because the bar is much taller and it spends the least amount of time in the mouth and the esophagus. So that is a good amount of information to get us started so that we can now answer the question. Question 20 says, in which structure does the food spend the longest time? A, the large intestine, B, the mouth, C, the small intestine, or D, the stomach? And based on our initial assessment, we already determined that the food spends the longest time in the large intestine because that is where the bar is the tallest, which represents the longest period of time. The next question is question number 21. Approximately how much longer does food stay in the small intestine than in the stomach? So this question is asking us to compare the difference between the time spent in the small intestine versus the stomach and how much longer. In order to determine the time spent in the small intestine and the stomach, we want to understand what each of these units represent in terms of time. So we have here time zero and then time five, which is five hours, and then 10 hours and then 15 hours. Now, what we're going to have to do is figure out what each of these individual units of time represent. And we can do that by dividing five hours into the number of empty spaces that we have here. And once we do that, we get the number of minutes so let's count the spaces that we have. We have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 spaces between 0 and 5 hours. So we're now going to convert 5 hours into minutes and then divide the minutes by the 10 units. In order to figure out the minutes, 5 times 60 minutes equals 300. So 5 hours is the same as 300 minutes. Now let's divide the 300 minutes by the 10 units or the 10 spaces. 300 divided by 10 is 30. So each of these units here represent 30 minutes. Now that we know that, we can determine the time spent in the small intestine, the time spent in the stomach, and then calculate the difference. Let's look at the time spent in the small intestine. If we Go to the top of the bar, we can draw a line that takes us across to the y-axis and we see it lands right about there. And now we can calculate that time. So we already know that at this point, this is five hours and that each of these individual units represent 30 minutes. So we'll count it as five hours here, five hours and a half or five and a half hours, six hours, six and a half hours, and seven hours. So the time spent in the small intestine is seven hours. Now let us look at the time spent in the stomach. So we'll draw a line from the top of the bar of the stomach towards the y-axis. And now we're going to count by the half hour from zero until we get to that line. So let's get started. We have here half hour, one hour, one hour and a half, two hours, two and a half hours, three hours, three and a half hours, four hours. So the food spends four hours in the stomach. Now we need to go back to the question and it says approximately how much longer does food stay in the small intestine than the stomach? The food spends seven hours in the small intestine and four hours in the stomach. So seven hours take away four hours is three hours. So the answer would be C. 
So that's it for this quick lesson. If you would like more help as you prepare for the health science exam, you may be interested in downloading the complete health science answer booklet, or you may want to join our online BJC health science class, which you can find on the student shed. Until next time, happy learning.